Hey, what's going on YouTube? Mad Lion 843. Hey, I want to do a brief unboxing of the Bat Safe. This is the LiPo storage slash charging safe. Um, this will allow you to safely charge your LiPo batteries without the risk of fire and possibly burning down your home or garage. Um, this will also allow you to charge the batteries and it has vents in the top to allow the smoke to be released. But the vents also serve as filters to keep that toxic gas enclosed within the safe. Um, just kind of give you an outside view of what the box looks like. Pretty simple, except the bat badging on the outside. Here's the actual safe itself. Pretty neat, as you can see the vents on the top. Let's take it out of the box. Set this to the side. Okay, here's the actual safe itself. You can see, bat safe branding. Um, caution, um, do not cover because these are vented ports. Um, here we go. As you can see, it has the bat icons and bat safe badging all over it. Also has the caution here if you want to pause the video and kind of read what the caution message says. That's the bottom. It has rubber feet, which is good, so it kind of stays still. Open it up. Again, you can see. The vents cover is pretty thick. Um, there it is. It has a nice latch to keep it closed. Fairly simple. Uh, if you've watched some of the other videos, uh, actual testing, you will see the smoke come out and be emitted, and it keeps the poisonous gases in. Kind of give you a size comparison. These are batteries for my uh, unique Q500. Place them in here as if they were charging. You see, it's there. And I also have two Gen X batteries. These are 4S batteries for my Traxxas X Max. These are 7200 mAh. This is a 7000 mAh battery. Fit, fit. As you can see, batteries fit. And it does have this on the side for those of you who have smaller chargers. Um, this is my high tech X2 Plus. Kind of sits here like so. But it really only benefits the chargers that have the lead outputs on the side. Here you would kind of have to sit it up just a little bit. Which it does come with double sided tape in order to allow them to go in. This is your wire hole here or inlet it does have this seal here which is a big rubber gasket and it leads the wires in here i will admit um it does seem like it's going to be effective but this wire seal here once you um feed your wires through it is really difficult to feed them through here and and that's simply because it needs to stay enclosed in order to catch the the smoke just in case you have a fire one other thing I did purchase are these Venom um, banana clips. They have Dean ends on them, but they are extended. So once you feed them down through, you can charge your batteries and you can have your charger either on a shelf or a little further away from the actual bat safe. Again, these are relatively long, so you can feed it down through and you'll still have length to reach your charger. Again, this has been a brief unboxing of the Bat Safe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to click the like button. Also, click the subscribe button. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Again, this is Mad Lion 843. Thank you for watching.